Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with another installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you as always by Maor DC. You can find us at our website, meordc.com, or on Facebook, or track us down on, 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 in person. I'm always at the Gelman Starbucks at GW, and whatever it is, be in touch, and that would be great. Okay. I'm very happy it's Thursday night. That's our normal time slot to share words of wisdom uh, and I hope depth and beauty from the Torah portion. So let's get going. This is a Torah portion that's a real completion on many levels. First level, it's the final Torah portion of the book of Exodus, the second book of the Torah, Pikude. We complete the book of Shmos, Exodus, with this Torah portion. But on a deeper level, what's described in the portion is a very, very big completion and culmination because in it is described the completion of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, the beautiful, incredible sanctuary of God that, that, that the Jewish people built and that would accompany them in their travels in the desert, as explained later on in the Torah. And the Mishkan, the tabernacle, took up many months in the life of the Jewish people and many portions in the Torah to describe it. And it was labor lovingly done and precisely done as God had commanded Moshe, and now it's complete. And how does it feel when anything you do is complete? It feels good. And especially when your, the reward of your effort is the divine presence resting in your midst. That would feel really good. That was the whole purpose of the Mishkan. As God had said originally, let them build me a sanctuary and I will dwell among them. And now that's what happened. They built everything. Moshe, with the help of Hashem, erected the Mishkan, and it said, Moshe completed the work, and the cloud covered the tent of meeting, and the glory of Hashem filled the Mishkan. There was a spiritual light that came out of the Mishkan, and a cloud, not a precipitation cloud, a miraculous cloud hovering over the tabernacle by day and a fire by night before the eyes of all the children of Israel throughout their journeyings. An incredible culmination, God dwelling among the Jewish people. And it's, it's, it's even a deeper culmination, as Nachmanides, the Ramban, explains, because this is the culmination of the Exodus. The Exodus wasn't just getting out of Egypt geographically. It was going from spiritual exile and darkness, of a long fall from the lofty heights of our patriarchs and matriarchs who lived in close proximity in their lives to God and godliness. It was from way down there till now going to Sinai, getting the Torah, and then building the Mishkan, and the Shekhinah, the divine presence, resting, dwelling, if you will, in this earth among the Jewish people. That's the culmination of the exodus, of the redemption, really of all creation in a sense. But that's another story maybe. Incredible. Wow. And it was all done, as the Torah emphasizes, or it all happened, I should say, because they did exactly as Hashem had commanded. It's repeated many times in this Torah portion. They did this exactly as Hashem had commanded. They did that as Hashem had commanded Moshe. They did that over and over again. If you want blessing, the Torah seems to be teaching us. If you want blessing in the sense of, the clo of, a, of a feeling of closeness to Hashem, carry out what he wants us to do in this world, each one of us, exactly as, exactly as we can. And then we'll be guaranteed that the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, will dwell in each of us, which is the ultimate goal of the tabernacle, to, that the, the Divine Presence should dwell in the heart of each and every one of us. Have a great Shabbos.